Boozer, do you hear me? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable for 21 coins, make sure you head over to U7 Buy. And also, I want you to do one very special thing. At checkout, make sure to use code FIZZY for a little discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel. Welcome back, boys, to another FIFA 21 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the base icon upgrade SBC that you see right in front of your eyes on the screen. I'm going to be telling you how to craft one for absolutely nothing. How to craft it for free using coins, fodder, etc, etc. And when I say coins, I'm going to tell you how to make those coins back as well. Don't worry about it. What we're going to do is I'll explain the full method. So make sure to watch till the end of this video to grasp the full method on how you can do it, what you need to do exactly, and where to go when you get fodder, etc, etc. If you are new, make sure to smash a like on this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel and join Team Boozer. We are now in the final stretch. Pushing towards 20,000 subscribers. We're only around two odd, 2,000 odd subscribers away. So we're in that final hurdle now. We're trying to get there before 2020 comes to an end. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, that would be absolutely amazing. Of course, follow all, all my socials for live stream content, etc, etc. That will be all down below. With that being said, boys, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So here we are, the base icon upgrade. Now, we're at the start... You're looking at it thinking, this is crazy. 285 rated squads, 86 rated squad, 87 rated squad. And it is coming in at 574,000 coins according to Footbin. Now, if you haven't started it, you're, you're thinking, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. This is all crazy. What do we need to do, right? You need to go over to this section right here. You can see that I've already got stuff built up. Don't worry about that. We'll get that to in a second. Right. Here we are, the bronze pack method. A lot of you guys have been asking, how do I do the bronze pack method? Well, first of all, you need to open up these 400 coin cards, right? Well, 400 coin packs, shall I say. Whatever you get, whatever you get. You open the bronze pack up, and the first thing that you want to look for is Sudamericana cards and Libertadores cards. Because those are the cards that you're going to sell and get rid of. I know that there's a league SBC for them. However, it is not profitable to keep them in your squad. So sell both when you open up bronze cards. If you don't get any of them, right, which is fine. The perfect example, I've got one. I've got no Libertadores cards, no Sudamericana cards. Absolutely fine. Then what you do is you go through every single player and you see, does this player sell? So this guy right here, this Daniels card, he does sell because there's a bid on him for 200 coins. And if you can see, if you just browse through a couple of pages, he's not really going for under a thousand coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undercut him and I'm going to get him sold straight away, list him up for 700. Hopefully he sells and he almost pays for two bronze packs which is absolutely phenomenal, right? That is how you're going to make your coins. You're going to sell everything that sells, and you're going to sell Libertadores and Sudamericana cards. That is going to be your coin influx for opening these bronze packs, because you're going to need to open quite a few. Now, this guy doesn't sell. This guy probably doesn't sell either. And then this guy probably doesn't sell either, which is absolutely fine. All of these contract cards you can get rid of. The manager, the, the br rare br player contracts, you can try and sell for 200 if you really want to. Um, me personally, it does take a while to sell. However, you might get a sell here or there. So you can also list those up as well if you're trying to maximize your coins for, from the bronze packs, right? Now, what you do is you keep opening bronze packs, bronze packs, bronze packs. You rinse and repeat. Now, what you want to do is you want to eventually stop when you're seeing a lot of duplicate cards. So for me right now, I'm not going to see very loads of duplicate cards because I don't, I've cleared out my bronze uh, my bronze um, cards in my club. So we're going to go uh, for a little bit here. And this guy, again, second bronze pack in a row. He'll probably sell for two, 300 coins. I'll list him up. Safe. See you later. This guy right here, look at that. Uh, a right mid from the net Dutch League. Now, I don't know why he's high up in price, but he's somehow high up in price right now. So I'm going to list him up for 1,000 coins and get him gone. Safe. See you later. Uh, this Saudi League player, again, going to list him up as well because he's a Saudi League. Again, they have a League SPC. He's going to sell. And then I think this guy is the one that we're going to keep. Actually, no, even him. Even him. Even him we're going to get rid of. No problem whatsoever. Get those coins in the club. The most important thing when you're doing bronze pack method is to make back your 400 coins on the packs that you just spent. Don't worry about keeping too many players because what you need to do is you need to build up loads and loads of coins so you can keep opening the bronze packs and you don't waste money. And then also you want to keep um, a portfolio of bronze players in your club so you can use them in the bronze upgrade, which we're going to get to in a second. So again, this guy right here, we're going to keep. This guy right here, um, he doesn't seem like he will sell, although, no, there you go, 200 coins. So make sure you check a couple of pages because you never know. This guy right here, again, we're going to keep him. 
And then this guy right here, we're going to keep him. So there you go. We've got four players there that we can keep and we're going to put into the squad. Again, a rare contract. You can list up for 200. No problem whatsoever. I'm doing this on the PS5. Again, doesn't really matter if you do it on PS5 or PS4. Just for all of those people who probably had that question. Now, once you've built up a plethora of um, uh, bronze players and you see loads of duplicates, what you then want to do is you want to go onto the SPC section. You want to go onto upgrades right here. And what you want to do is you want to go all the way over to this one right here. This bronze upgrade, this sexy little thing right here, this cheeky little one right here. You want to go there and it needs 11 bronze players. 40 chemistry, which is very, very easy to build. Player quality, bronze, 40 chemistry, pretty simple. No, no, nothing too special about it. Now, once you get to this stage, yeah, you want to rinse and repeat, and you'll have like 30 to 40 to 50 uh, silver packs, as I've got here. So let me just open one of mine up. I've, I've already started the grind. I've already started doing mine. And what will happen is out of these, you can get a rare player, or you'll get um, um, like an inform. You could get an in Well, you could get an inform. But... You'll just get a rare silver and you'll get a rare um, and a non-common silver. And what you do is you just c c keep these into the squad. There's nothing else to it. Again, we have League SBCs. If you get like a duplicate and then you can, you know, uh, and you have a tradable version, that'll be okay. But once you do that, you'll have loads and loads and loads and loads of silvers into your club, right? So first, bronze pack method. Sell all Libertadores and Condable, uh, Southern Americana cards. Sell everything that sells, right? Keep all the players that do not sell for, and they have like a min price of 200. Keep all of those. Once you have loads and loads and loads in your club and you're getting loads of duplicates from bronze pack methods, go over here, bronze upgrade. You'll get loads and loads and loads of silver cards. Now, once you get loads and loads and loads of silver cards, you want to go to the silver upgrade as obviously is pretty self-explanatory. Now, what you do with the silver upgrades, if you go to silver, if I go to here, we have a couple of silver cards right here. List them all out. Safe. See you later. And then, uh, again, rinse and repeat the process. That's pretty much to it. You just want to rinse and repeat the process. And, uh, yeah, I would also always check your silver cards if they have some kind of a value. Um, because sometimes if they're tradable, they could have a value. So try to stick towards um, try to stick towards untradable silvers that you're using in this rather than tradable ones. Uh, so, for example, this guy is tradable right now. Uh, he doesn't really have too much of a value. So uh, he's, he's pretty safe to put in. This guy we just got. This guy is untradeable anyways. This guy is tradable. Has he got a bit of a value? And again, doesn't really have a bit of a value. So he's pretty much safe to put in. Uh, same with this guy. He's untradeable. And there you go. Three common silver players into the club, etc, etc. Gone. Safe. See you later. And then what you want to do is you'll get three common gold cards. And with the three common gold cards, um, you want to basically, again, save all of those. And you want to rinse them through that gold upgrade that you saw. So let's open the three common gold players. You want to rinse these through the gold upgrade, which is then you're getting loads and loads and loads and loads of rare cards, right? So for example, we've got quite a few duplicates here. And if I and these are tradable, if these are tradable in my club, I can obviously sell them for coins. So we'll list them up later on um, or off the off the video, right? And then what you do is once you've got loads and loads of silver cards, right? You rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And you go over to this and then you go to the gold upgrade, which is a two rare gold player pack. A lot of you guys already know what it is. You basically need 11 gold common cards, right? If I if I try and uh, do this, let's just go gold common. Let's just go low to high. Um, and if I try and get rid of loads of cards for you guys here, um, I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, so there you go, there you go, there you go. Now what I tend to do is I tend to get rid of non-league SBCs. But this year, I would just tend to get rid of everything just because League SPCs are not really even a thing anymore um, in terms of the way to grind them. Yes, you can grind them. Yes, they are still effective enough to try and grind, um, you know, effectively. But you'll get this, a gold upgrade, a two rare gold player pack. Now, most likely, you'll get just two rare golds. Um, however, some people have hit very, very good cards, Neymars, Mbappes, all of that kind of stuff. And there you go. So once we go over to this pack here, you open this two rare gold player pack. And then you'll get loads and loads and loads and loads of rare cards. And this is where you want to um, save up all your gold rare cards. And the reason being is that I've got a Gabriel and I've got this Pizarro card. And this Pizarro card, unfortunately, is um, a duplicate untradeable. So what I would tend to do, right? I've got Pizarro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next part of the method and uh, use that Pizarro at the same time. Once you've got loads of gold rare cards and you're getting loads of duplicates, you want to go over to this one right here. The 81 plus double upgrade. Now, what you can also do if you don't want to use the generic one, if you want to try your luck whilst you're crafting a space icon upgrade, 
You can also try and open up Premier League 81 double pluses or Liga double 81 pluses or La Liga 81 pluses. But for the sake of this video, I would stick to the normal 81 plus. It's got three days. It's repeatable. Pretty much expires when the base icon pack expires as well. So I would, what I do is just fill out all of these. So if I go to gold rare, if I go to low to high, right? So you just want to fill out Sintara, Quintero, uh, Dennis can go in, this guy can go in, Pizarro can go in because we need to use him because he's a duplicate. These guys can go in there. Um, Dumfries can go in. I haven't got many rare cards, so you'll probably be like, whoa. I've, yeah, I haven't got many rare cards. But what you do is you want to get rid of all the cards that you can. Uh, use up all the duplicates, use up everything that you need to get rid of, etc, etc. All right, so we've got everything, guys. Put a goalkeeper in to fix the chemistry, and there we are. Right, 81 plus. Now, with these 81 pluses, right, this is going to give you the fodder to put into here, and that is the method as a whole. As you can see, right, we've crafted 181 plus from everything we've had in the club, and as you can see, we've made some coins. We've actually not lost any coins, so throughout that whole process, right, we've not lost any coins because the bronze pack method is doing the absolute business. Yeah, so we've won, we've made 181 plus and we've made coins and that is what you need to do. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat and you will get this method down and dusted a Saperoni. You'll get your base icon pack for free, a Saperoni and there we go, Pizarro. Love to see it, get a duplicate in there as well. Let me open up this 81 plus to see what we get. Now again, it does obviously depend on how fast you can get good cards, how fast you can get good pulls, how fast you can get like for that out of this. So we don't actually get boards out of this, which is not really going to help us. But effectively, what you can do with these 81 plus is you can put these back into the gold upgrade or you can put these back into the 81 plus, which is pretty much what I would recommend you would do. And that is pretty much the method of how you can craft a base icon pack for free. You've seen my coin balance at the start of this video. You're going to see it right now. And you've seen that obviously we've got bronze cards still selling and still making coins. And that is pretty much how you craft a base icon upgrade. You do bronze. So what you do is you open your 400 coin bronze packs. You then do the bronze upgrade, then do the silver upgrade, then do the gold upgrade, and then you stick to 81 plus double upgrade. Or if you want to test your luck, go to the other way, 81 pluses, to obviously increase your chances of getting for the cards, etc, etc. But that is pretty much how you create a craft your base icon pack for free. If you watch this whole video again and again, you'll get up to speed, you'll get up to methods. Leave it down in the comments below if you have any questions that I can try and answer for you guys as much as possible. Make sure to smash the like on this video if you did enjoy. Of course, subscribe to the channel and join Team Boozer. We are slowly pushing towards 20,000 subscribers. We need to get there before the end of the year. We are live every single day for 6 p.m. content. This is the first place on YouTube that you will find your FIFA 21 Ultimate Team content update every single day. Make sure to check us out later on when we go live. Now, I've already done one. I'll be honest with you guys. I've got Cruyff in my first one. If you guys haven't seen that video, the link is obviously in the description. It will also be on the channel as well. This guy actually carried me in foot champs. I love him to bits. I'm so happy that I got him. He's going to be pretty much in my team for the rest of the year. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do my second one. We'll see. We'll see if we get there. I've been your boy. I hope you enjoyed. Team Boozer, we out. Peace.